Hello and welcome. Let's do some surface modeling with this design. You will learn the revolve, the rule, the patch, the delete, the stitch surface. Let's do some analysis with zebra stripes. All right, so let's start. I will begin with a sketch on the front plane. Normal view to that. Start the line command, draw one line here upwards, one to the left, one some more positioned here, then a three point arc from here over there, connecting to that end point, make a vertical constraint between those two here, press X and make that those lines here construction geometry, then dimension that bottom line with 20, um, the distance between that line and that end point here is 35. And that distance from that axis there is 25. And the height of that arc defined by the endpoints is 50. All right. We still need one horizontal constraint between those two endpoints, and we get a fully defined sketch. Exit that. Now let's um, pick the surface tab here. We get pretty much the same commands as in the solid. Um, let's start with a revolve of that profile around that axis. And that'll be a partial extent with 90 degrees so with a symmetric direction. So we got these 180 degrees covered. Accept that. Now let's continue with a sketch on the front plane. Um, that'll be a center point rectangle here. Open that up, give that a dimension of 40, project that edge into our sketch and apply a vertical constraint between those two points, fully defined, and finish with one line over here. And now let's go into the split face command. Take our surface here. And as a splitting tool, we take our rectangle. Okay, that. So we get these split lines. Make that sketch visible again. Because we want to split one more time that face with that line here. All right, hide that sketch. And now in the surface tab, you find our usual commands like the mirror as well. So let's mirror that body over that plane here and pressing M, take that body and rotate that around the X axis with uh, 90 degrees, all right? Okay, and now let's continue with the surface loft between that edge here and that one. So we find that here. 
take that profile and take that one. All right, it's connected, but let's work on that transition between adjacent uh, surfaces. Do that here with the curvature and here as well, curvature. All right, accept that. And let's um, analyze that transition here with the inspect tool, zebra analysis. Take that one, that one, and that one. And what that does um, allow you to see how smooth that is. Um, when you look at those lines, there is no sharp corner here. It's a great transition. All right, accept that. And now let's continue um, with our body here. I will um, start a sketch on that um, top plane and project that edge here of our split line and then draw one center point rectangle here just with that same radius, 90 degrees. And now we can create a ruled surface. That is, we just take that edge, pull that in the direction normal to our top plane. Um, the measurement isn't that important, really. That'll just help us to define that patch area here. So I'll continue with one more sketch on that front plane here. And again, I will project that edge, that trim line. Draw again a center point rectangle from here with that radius. Finish the sketch. Go into the ruled surface. Command, pull that out. And that's it. So now we're ready for our patch. Um, take that command and first let's just pick those all those edges i uncheck this box because i want to pick um individual edges here so take that one take that one that one that one here and there all right we got a we got the surface but again, let's um, change um, the surface control option here to G2, G2, five times. Okay, that. And just to continue analyzing so look at that one, and great, I mean, that goes very well here over to those um, other surfaces. Okay, then. And as I said, we don't need these ones, so I'll just delete them. And now we can continue mirroring. So now let's mirror surface bodies, that one and that one. Um, as a new body is fine. And mirroring plane is that one. New body. All right. And now let's mirror those four to the bottom. So 
I get a mirror. Take that one, that one, that one here, and that one. Mirroring plane is that plane here. Again, let's make that as a new body. So our surface body is visible, but we get all these individual bodies, 12. Um, we don't have those two anymore, which we deleted. So now I'll go to Stitch and pick all those. And the result is one surface body here. Great. Um, for our design, I will make a sweep here. So I'll make a sketch on that plane with a circle connecting to that midpoint here with four millimeter diameter. That's it. And let's make a solid sweep here. Um, so that's our profile here. And for the path, we can just pick that outer line and there's a tangent propagation. And I accept that. So we got now one surface body and that solid body. And if you want to transform your surface body into a solid, take that thicken command here. Pick that um, body. And for this example, I'll make it a 0 0.2 millimeter symmetric um, operation. And our surface body isn't visible anymore here. And we get those two. And well, if you want to join them, we just take that Boolean combine and take that one and that one. And there it is, we got one body. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you like that. Um, like and subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, happy designing.